like a sleeper, good, like great character. Because like there, all, I have the opinion that all characters in this game are good. It's just which characters are great and which characters are the best. They're phenomenal. <laughs> I've always had the opinion that Robin is a great character. It just need you need the specialists. You need the people that are very versed yeah. in how they work in order to make them really good. And you gotta be patient too. You can't just force your way in with these openings as, no. as Robin. And not unlike Mario here, you know Mario has really good normals. But basic all around this, character. This is the thing about Dan. Dan's Mario is just built different. Like Dan is, even though like on paper Mario uh, should not be challenging like this at all, Dan just like finds avenues. He finds openings. He forces openings so much. Yeah. And it just shows that Mario can just be an offensive threat no matter the character, oh, no matter the reverse. Uh, Elfire actually catching Dan there, and now. Uh, a coward actually starts something, has a little bit of a lead, They're waiting for oh, Eleven Sword is back right now. Alright, charging up Thoron. Oh, doesn't get Oh yeah, well, that was a little that was that was delayed. That was that was a little delayed. It, he was expecting a uh, ledge get up, but it just was too early on the grab, but that Thoron and that Arc Fire trap. It's gonna do it there. Uh, Robin uh, one of uh, probably the best uh, characters I led there, Ledge Trap you. You got, again, Thor on there. You got uh, Arc Flyer. And then if you want to jump or anything, you're going to get caught by the Levin Sword that just hits so hard, just like that. Yeah, absolutely. Like, Robin just has so many tools that once you're on Ledge, that's really that, that, that's the that's the spot that Robin mains want you to be in. Ooh. Oh, good defense. Oh, oh that, that actually almost worked oh, against Dan's <laughs> favor. Because that trade left him open for just a quick second there. Yeah, Dan was hungry. Good up beyond a shield there. Had he not done that, his own shield would have been broken there. And the coward would have had his way. He killed him with he killed him with bronze sword. Yeah, that, that's, what the heck? Oh my god. I mean, ledge, high percent. It's a pretty strong dash attack. It is. But uh, I'm just surprised. I oh, never no. see bronze sword even coming remotely close, especially at those percents. He jumped up into that Nosferatu, so that means that Coward's going to get a little bit of that health back. Does he have it back? Okay, one more Elwin left, so he's got to be very careful how he uses this. And oh, he's going to be able to make it. Deep. All right. Oh, and Dan has the book, too. Catching him with the dash attack. Not his plan, but, you know, definitely going to use it to his favor. I'd say, like, Dan's item play has always been very good, and the matchups where it's applicable, you see it a lot where he utilizes that. Oh, my oh my. That conversion! Yeah, catching Dan, trying to fastball there because, yeah, being up in the air is just not where you want to be. He thought, uh, Dan thought that he could come down with the aerial down air or forward or something. But, uh, yeah, Coward just beating him up there with that Levin Sword, man. Levin, <laughs> these reactions item management. Too. Like, just recognizing that you have the position to get a conversion like that. That's crazy. Yeah, it's not something that comes easy either. It's just one of those things that you practice and practice and practice. Read that DI, and it's working. We're working for Coward again. This is a, this is a best of five as well. So this is gonna be and, uh, and this is, this also stuff. works for Dan too because now he's got he's got plenty of time to. Oh, oh no, he's not. Nah, <laughs> about to say from what I've seen from the past game, uh, Elwin actually has pretty pretty decent recovery because I, I I'm stuck in I've not seen this character a whole lot in Ultimate, so I just kind of go off of knowledge that I get. Four. It's mostly I, the same. And I, yeah, and I remember that Elwin was pretty good most of the time, and it seems like in this game it is now pretty good all of the time. Yeah. Unfortunately for a coward there, he didn't have the uh, Levin Sword uh, to break that shield there, so instead he had to grab, throw him forward, and Dan going to get the meatball. Yeah, Just take his stock there. here. He took a second jump, so he's got to utilize an Elwin to get back. Oh, no! Oh, he pushed him too far! Yeah. That was just a perfect angle uh, for Dan with the flood. And I'm about to say, in the back of my mind, I'm just like, well, he doesn't have a jump. <laughs> he's able to get there, charging again. All the way to Thoron this time. What type of, uh, ooh, triple. Oh, my oh goodness. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh. Like a, yep. Ah! <laughs> you there force a directional air dodge, and you're just going to you're, you're gonna get punished for there that. There we go. You that's know. that's the Dan that I know and remember. He scared him. No hesitation. No remorse. No, like honestly, not a single, not a single hint of just like, it's just, 
I'm just here, do my duty. Yeah. I'm trying to get out. Dan, Let's win these games. Dan is so great to watch because it's just, he does all this ridiculous stuff with Mario. And then you see what he looks like, and it's just stone face. <laughs> it's true. He's the Kimi Raikkonen of our scene. He's just the Iceman. Smashville. A pretty decent pick uh, for Robin. Yeah. But I, I think I think that Mario can be able to swallow uh, Robin here because you know Robin is soul character and doesn't really have a lot of get, get off me options. And th this this is a stage that definitely works towards both characters. But like Mario, I think more so gets the upper hand on this because with this Mario now has the space to force Robin to like be close. Ooh, the first grab. And yeah. Like, All right. Time to box. Like, it, can you handle the pressure when I am up close now? Just seeing the comfort Malaby uh, from Dan there, just dash stacking, making it uh, last as long as possible, and then backing up. That up B. Not gonna actually get punished for that though. But say he was trying to get that arc fire for the punish, but uh, I don't know. I mean, he was a little bit too far away. If he would have spaced it better, probably. Forward throw. And now in a kind of a bad situation. Back on ledge, tries to get that uh, jump free. No dice. Dan, waiting very patiently because he doesn't want to get a crazy combo on him. Yeah, he's at kill percent there. How do you get an arc fire into Thoron? Mm. Dan would have been dead there, okay. Uh, Levin Sword on stage. Ah, oh, that's the one thing that's just very irritating against Rob is when even arc fire still activates on shield. But that dash up reverse up smash. Dan gonna be put on the board there. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, good trap. Wow. Good. Uh, honestly, like uh, Howard's been doing very good at recognizing when Dan has very low shield and putting him in traps where he's forced to do an option that is not a shield break. Because yeah. like Dan recognizes, like, no, I'm not gonna get my shield broken because it would result in death. But then at the same time, a coward's like count accounts for that. It's like, all right, okay. You want a book? You don't, <laughs> you, you don't want a shield? That's fine. I got follow-ups. I got backup plans. And that, that exactly how Rob plays. Three steps ahead at all times. You have to. I mean, he is a tactician of his own game. So, Arc Fire. Yep. <laughs> Trying to get the good position there. Doesn't know how to get up the stage. Oh, that Arc Fire back on the stage. Space poorly damaged. Oh, no, oh, that's not what he no, wanted. No, no, no. He's trying to up B there and fortunate. Good thing, though, that this is not the end-all, be-all game here. I'm about to say, it, it seems... Okay, I was very scared because I'm the stage, but... Wow, oh, no. But damn by ledge, this is so scary. You can't make mistakes. He keeps doing the same thing. Okay, that time it's able to work there, but... I mean, I know... Oh, and that's going to kill! That was such a great call-out! <laughs> Finally starting to call out those uh, short hops that Dan was tr trying to space. That's yeah, the thing with Love and Sword. Able to have that kind of space is great. Make it back. Be careful about it. Oh, not getting. Uh, oh, he did. He was able to spike him there in the short hop. Oh, okay. That time going for the angle. Elwin, very smart there. Finally mixing up his recovery there. And these trays sort of working out his favor. Good patience, waiting for the dash attack on ledge. Oh my goodness. All right, yeah. Coward slowly making the climb there. Oh, he but wanted. The he wanted to roll away. He, he wanted to either a neutral get up or roll away, but he no, rolled he, in, and Dan was able to recover with that up smash in time. Yeah, yeah, Coward trying to call out um, Dan there, thinking he was going to stay there, but able to, again, like you said, roll away just in time, and a Coward stuck in that arc fire nation and yeah. gets just punished by it. And it's crazy, too, to think you know, that game was close because a Coward SD. Uh, honestly, yeah. I mean, the, the counter pick was definitely working in his favor. Uh, it's just, it was that unfortunate loss in the stock. And honestly, like right now, it's this is the moment where you just kind of have to realize you've got nothing to lose. Yeah, it's yeah, do or it's, die. It's, it's, I mean, this is, this is rough. You're down two games to one, but you have another game to really just kind of flesh out some stuff that you may have caught in the previous game. Oh wow, good call out with that Nair uh, on Coward. Uh, Dan, catching up with these, these hits. It's these hits definitely hits. hurt. You're at 30%. Levin Sword. Oh, okay. And he gets a little bit of that health back. Yeah, he, he's getting a little bit more patient and calling out uh, Dan too, because Dan, before, he was just going ham. He was going crazy, shielding, jumping around these uh, projectiles. Oh, there you go with the good spot dodge. 
It's so funny when they're, when they're in that tumble animation. Does the game with a dash attack. Oh, good trade. Was hopefully... Oh, the... <laughs> it protected him. Yeah, very smart uh, by Coward throwing upwards. Doesn't want to get throw combo there. That's one more arc fire. No. Oh, that, I mean, it is so tempting. It's so tempting when you're seeing a charge like that. But at that, at that time, honestly, just let him whiff it. Just let it rip. Just, like, think about your next option. Don't try to challenge it. He, he thought he was in that range where it wasn't going to hit him. But, damn, just being devious here. Oh, not acting on that grab there. Trying to do a, a tomahawk. Thor, I'm pushing again. And by the way, here we go. Up air. Ladder. Uh, that might kill. Yeah. That kills. Yes. That whole interaction, the first two hits of up air, our coward was holding in. And then by that time, it was too late to try and DI away. And I thought he would get the clap back, but no, that down smash still not killing. Yeah, it's a strong move, but unfortunately, he was not at the ledge there. That will do it, though. That conversion gets it. I wonder, too, because I know Robin's. Um, I guess the quote-unquote optimal way to play him is to have Smash Stick on because otherwise you have to like hit the stick really hard in the air to get the 11 attacks. Trying to catch him with that uh, 11 sword forward air, yeah, but he's got to be careful. Like, it seems like any sort of neutral interaction where Dan wins, it Double seems roll? like he's going to get it. Right now, in a pretty bad spot. Dan's got the ledge, dash attack, dislodging, coward once again. Oh no. Back air. And that. Oh, trying to get past that. Uh, I almost called it PK fire. Oh my goodness. He wanted to get into that second uh, arc fire onto the uh, other platform there. Yeah. No, that time is not going to work. Looking for the air dodge away. The lemon sword back air. Going to yeah. do it. Good job on uh, tracking Dan all the way down. Managing to punish that oh. time. The, I'm about to say, this is by no means a lead. No. This he is by get a no means a lead. Dude. Gets the sword, gonna grab it again. Yeah, not, now a coward is moving. He's feeling comfortable. Ooh. <laughs> I, I like that. Just keep up the pressure. You're at a range where you can zone him out, zone him out. Yeah, had, had he had he called out that roll a second sooner, he would have actually caught Dan. It wouldn't have killed, but it would have added great damage. Ooh. The SDI is impeccable coming out from Superman, saving himself a little bit. And man, a coward making this crazy roll play, back. But no tech! Turn around up smash, and that is going to do it. Dan the man. Super Dan moving on to winner's finals. Having that stone cold face it, the whole time. I'm telling you, man, he's the ice man. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. It, it's so, it, I, I, literally, I, I just see it as it's the exact same kind of comparison.